Hey, hey, uh, what's up? It's Ryan. I'm going to basically give you a couple of different tips in ones, uh, tips in one for radio imaging voices that uh, hopefully will make your life easier, especially if you're the kind of person that likes to do a little over delivering for the clients and you want to give them, um, you know, the same track, but affected differently. So maybe you give them the dry track, uh, a hard CHR filter and compressed track, maybe more of that thick kind of bassy rock filter, um, whatever you do. And maybe you do that by recording once, double up the track, affect it with an audio suite triple it up, re-effect it um, with some audio suite plugins. Anyway, this, you can do it on the fly so that you don't ever have to do any bouncing. And then you can also do it all at the same time. Record once, it's already affected, save them and move on. It should save a lot of time if this isn't something you had uh, thought of before. So again, in the interest of making it quick, we're just going to do two. You can do this with three, four, five, whatever you want to do. We're going to make two mono audio tracks, two mono aux inputs create those tracks. Now you can color code these. So if you want to match up audio one with aux two, you can also rename them. So maybe we call it dry and then we would rename this and call it dry aux. Um, just so you know they match. And again, you can, uh, you can, excuse me, you can, uh, you know, color code them. Uh, but for right now, that that's kind of the basic stuff. So we'll wire these up properly. So you're going to put your mic into the aux tracks so the input of the mock of the aux tracks is going to be your mic then you're going to send them out separately separate buses i'm just going to bus them one and two okay so we want uh this dry one to go into the dry one so we're going to take the bus from aux one and then this is bus two so we're going to send that into the second one so now you see my microphone is now being uh, listened to by both of these aux tracks. It'll be recorded on both of the audio tracks. As you see that, they're wired up. Now any plugin that we place on the aux track will be applied on the fly, so you don't have to actually apply any audio suite filters after you're done. So again, I'm not going to do all the settings here, but let's say I do an audio track uh, waves plug on dry. I like to do that. And then maybe on... Um, Excuse me. I will go uh, gate it, perhaps. Maybe I'll throw uh, an EQ. And, uh, you know, maybe you want to drop the low end a lot. And if it's like CHR, you want to just watch your levels, obviously. And then we'll throw maybe a compressor on it to give it that real fat CHR sound. And we'll just drop an L2. And uh, you, can, you, can, you can set your settings however you want to. I'm obviously not thinking about that right now. So anyway, now, when we are ready to record, you can already hear the CHR filter. Uh, it's kind of, you're getting that phasing effect. Anyway, we'll just lay it down. Uh, testing one, two, testing the biggest radio station ever, ever, ever. Okay, so you can see there's an obvious difference in each track. This one, let me uh, take these off here. Lay it down. Uh, testing one, two, testing the biggest. Lay it down. Uh, testing one, two, testing the biggest radio station ever. Okay. So there you go. Now you basically have uh, as many tracks as you want. Your your uh, plugs have been applied on the fly. You can name them now. Uh, you, can, you can leave them named actually if you want because they'll... Uh, it just depends on how you want to name things for your client. Highlight over everything. You can use your shift button. Come over here. Hold down control. Right click regions export regions as files set it up we will choose we'll just go to the desktop i'll just do one i mean you want to do at least 128 on a mono recording uh you can go up to 320 um but anyway those are all settings you can figure out on your own and that was instant obviously there's a tiny files but depending on how fast your machine is it's going to uh just boom shoot those files save them as mp3s mono mp3 files and you're done there's no bouncing and you have multiple different types of effects applied at the same time hopefully that helped you out maybe that'll give you a, a little bit of a quicker workflow as you're sending out multiple styles of the same vo to your clients otherwise thanks for checking it out